Monaco. Henry Flagger said, you don't want to build another hotel. That's, that's what I do. I'm in the hotel business. And Franklin Smith went ahead and did it anyway. About three months later, after a very shaky, rough start, because he could, could not get his wares into the hotel and to service his guests, uh, he ended up selling the hotel to Henry Flaggers for about $325,000. All of a sudden, all the wares show up on Henry Flaggers' trains. So uh, the hotel operators, now Henry's got all three hotels. At some point in time, these two hotels were connected and you can, if you get close enough, you can see the outline where there was a bridge, and this became the Alcazar Annex, so they operated as one hotel. During the Depression, times uh, became tough, and the hotel closed. Reopened later on in the 60s, became the county courthouse. So if you take that facade that says Casa Monica, you pull that off, it still says county courthouse underneath. And it became the courthouse uh, for a number of years until it outgrew the facility. The hotel went back into mothballs. Uh, courthouse went out to US-1. And in 1997, Richard Kessler, who is our, our owner, found this hotel, boarded up, and pigeons flying in the roosts and whatever, and investigated and uh, bought it soon afterwards and about $10 million, and two years later, reopened as the Casa Monica Hotel.